Good morning, guys. Welcome to week three of a week in my life of a screen print and DTF transfer business owner. If you guys watched week one and week two, thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys are new here, my name is Alex. I am the owner of AMS Transfers. We print screen print and DTF transfers for your custom orders. If you guys are looking to place an order, please feel free to check out our website in the description or amstransfers.com. Today is uh, going to be a pretty low key day. Like I said, Monday morning, today is Martin Luther King Day, so we are not able to uh, ship anything. USPS and UPS is closed. Um, so that just means we're going to use today to kind of reset, get everything back on track, do the things that we can't normally do during the week. Um, if you guys were here for last week, you saw that I was going to come in on Sunday, which was yesterday, uh, tinker with the DTF printer a little bit more. Um, but at the time of filming that, I didn't realize that uh, today was Martin Luther King Day. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Um, this morning, we are not going to be making breakfast here. We get a little treat going to McDonald's. 8.15, just wrapped up having our breakfast. Uh, now going to get my workstation set up and get started on printing the transparencies for one of the t-shirt orders that we have to print today. Uh, we have a gold foil uh, t-shirt with, um, or gold foil on a red shirt, and then we also have black shirt with white ink. Uh, gotta print the transparencies for those, get the screens burned, so Michaela King has started working on that. And after um, I get those all printed, I think I have to work on setting up a blog post for this week on AMS transfers and then get an email sent out so we can let our newsletter subscribers know about the blog post. Got the blog uh, all posted and just waiting for the domain to connect to that. Uh, I also spent some time looking into um, like article to voice um, services, um, see if it would be possible to easily create some podcast episodes from the blog posts that we're writing. Because um, some of the blog posts I think would make some really good podcast episodes in general. So just trying to see if that is a possibility. I do think that it is. There's a couple different options. Um, Microsoft has a option and then the podcasting tool Anchor also has an option. So those will be some cool things to explore later on down the road. But uh, I also uh, spent that time uh, recording what I'm going to start calling, um, I wrote it down, hang on. I wrote uh, 365 days of recording short videos as a small business entrepreneur. So using um, kind of more of this content, uh, the long form content, but uh, repurposing it as like to upload to TikTok and YouTube shorts. So I um, think it would probably be smarter to start with like 30 days, see if I can commit to the 30 days, but uh, I mean a year sounds better, right? Uh, and just basically use that as a means of promoting the longer form videos that I'm recording here because uh, for some reason both on TikTok and YouTube Shorts the availability and like the findability of the videos is a lot um, easier and a lot more videos get recommended to people as shorts than they do as long form 50 minute videos. So I will see how that goes. I have a number of ideas that I can do each day um, I would like to do it every single day, so even including Saturday and Sunday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, right now I'm going to work on editing the first one up. I mean, it's only a 60 second video, so that doesn't seem like that big of a commitment. Um, but I mean, right now we're pretty slow, so once we start getting busy again, I can see that commitment getting pushed down to the bottom of the list. But I think it is something that could really help and uh, just something easy that we can get done in a half hour to an hour. And we'll make sure that we're posting daily on TikTok because I really want to, but um, sometimes, I don't know, excuses come up not to post. So I'm gonna edit that up right now. Um, most of them I think are going to be just like small clips that I record throughout the day or whatever and then do voiceover recordings for each of them. Uh, so that's my plan right now. 
I recorded um, myself creating the blog and i um, going to do a quick voiceover right now of that, edit it all up and post it to YouTube Shorts and TikTok. See how it goes. Day one of uh, posting these short videos. <laughs> Just got the uh, video that I wanted to post for kind of the daily short video to all of the platforms. Got it posted to YouTube, uh, Pinterest, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and LinkedIn. Um, so those are going to be the main ones that I recycle the content on. I think it's going to be a pretty good um, success. I mean, I posted it to all of those different platforms and um, just created one video. So if we can keep on doing this, I think it would turn out some one of them are, are bound to be a success as soon as I figure out the winning technique. But um, in the meantime, that did take me a little bit longer than I would have liked to. Um, I think it took me about two hours to get the video done and published to all the different platforms. So just going to need to come up with ways to optimize my flow, optimize the technique that I'm using to upload them. Maybe I can start batching uh, out the content um, one day this week and then just uh, scheduling it to be uploaded during the week. Uh, in any case though, um, I'm going to work on just cleaning up the shop. The shop is a pretty big mess right now. So just do some house or, uh, housekeeping, get everything all uh, cleaned up, nice and presentable. Uh, and uh, after that, I'm going to spend some time tinkering around with the DTF printer See if I can finally get that CAD link working. If you guys were watching last week, you guys know that that was really being a, a big thorn in my side. All right, time is 1.30. Got the office all cleaned up, had a quick lunch, and now I'm going to work on troubleshooting the Digital Factory CAD link software, uh, seeing if I can get the color right, colors right on the uh, prints because when I was playing with it last week, the colors were completely off. And some of the colors are completely switched, but I think it's going to be a quick fix, just messing with the ICC color profiles. And then we should be good to go with CAD Link. So that'll be really exciting. Um, I'm excited to start using that software because if you guys have been following along the past two weeks, you guys know that uh, the uh, main top um, rip that I've been using has been causing me so much trouble and a lot of headaches. But uh, let's get right into that right now. I'm going to be working on Digital Factory CAD Link. Okay, so wasn't able to get the um, CAD Link uh, ICC profile uploaded correctly. Um, I filed a support ticket for that, so um, they said that they would reach back to me soon. Hopefully they can get that situated. I have a really funny feeling it's gonna be an easy fix. Um, so hopefully I can hear back from them, get that all sorted out. But in the meantime, it's 12.36. I have to uh, use this time to get some of the WW transfer orders that we have in the queue, get those printed out. Uh, we also have another order for um, one of the customers that placed their order for uh, t-shirts that we have to get printed out. Um, so I'm gonna use the opportunity at the time that I have for the rest of the day to get that done and possibly go live on TikTok. All right, guys, that's going to do it on today. Uh, time is about 3.45. I was able to uh, have a call with the people at Digital Factory CAD Link and get two of the major problems that I had sorted out. Uh, we are now currently printing all of the correct colors and we are also having the print to queue working correctly. So now I can have the files go straight from my computer to the printer without having to put the files on a flash drive. So that's super great. I'm really excited that that all was worked out. I just have one last problem where the uh, white is not printing. Um, I didn't realize when I was on the phone with them that this was the problem because I was just too excited about the two other problems being fixed, honestly. Um, but not no problem. The support was super great. They were able to remote in and uh, fix uh, both of those problems like super easily. The call lasted only like 15 minutes. and. Um, they were really helpful. I was thoroughly impressed with the support that I received. That's going to be today. It was super low key. Um, it's really nice uh, when we don't have to ship things and we, it falls on a weekday because we get to kind of reset, get everything back to how it should be. 
Um, the shop's looking good. Michaela looks like she was spending some time organizing her WWE Transfer Full Colors designs that we have in stock. Typically, we don't stock these. We print them to order, um, but we've been able to uh, catch up and stock some of them, so that's great. Uh, I have some screens that I have to reclaim tomorrow, but uh, that's the job for tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. avocados, bread, and everything but the bagel. Um, time is 7.05. Still not at the shop yet. This morning I was able to get some messages answered and emails and um, woke up to the email that one of our customers had paid for one of their orders, so that's great got to get everything uh, squared away for that th today this afternoon I also got my calendar and tasks all done for the day and this morning um, starting off the morning going to be messing around with the DTF printer uh, just trying to make sure that we can get everything rolling with digital factory uh, and then printing some orders off going live on TikTok during that and end of the day working on some more meta descriptions overall it's going to be a nice productive day what do you have to do today ww transfer orders she said if you guys didn't catch that i gotta get the adaptive flask orders out that's what that bag back there is if you guys can see that But we just got to HEB. Gonna go grab our stuff, start the day out. Going to get started on working with the Digital, CAD, Digital Factory CAD Link DTF stuff. I, we just finished breakfast, time is 8.30. Got everything all set up for um, the day. Michaela has a good thing, good grasp on what she's going to do. We're going to meet up at um, 11.45 and do a TikTok live. Um, I'm going to get the DTF all set up and then she's gonna use that as an opportunity to go live on WW Transfers. I probably will also use that as an opportunity to go live on Choose AMS. But um, let's go ahead and get started on trying to get this white layer printed on the uh, Digital Factory CAD Link software. Um, right now, everything is looking good. The colors are accurate. The colors are printing out of the correct uh, orientation. It's just we are not printing the white layer. So uh, again, I think it's gonna be a simple fix. Try and contact support. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually try and mess around with it myself a little bit before contacting support. Um, famous last words, I know. Um, see how that goes and just get a jump on today. All right, guys. This was the first one that I ran today, the first test, and we are 100% good. Oh man, this is so exciting, guys. I know you can't really see under there, but the colors are perfect. We have yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. And then we are also printing the white underbase. Oh man, guys, this is exciting. Digital Factory CAD Link is officially set up. Oh man, guys, this is gonna make for a huge improvement. If you guys have been watching for the past couple days, you know that, or I guess the past week, that this has really been causing some uh, thorn in my side. So it's a really great feeling to have it all set up. Man, I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this so in digital factory they make it super easy you just put in the amount of copies that you need and the amount of margin that you want in between and it will uh, create the file for you you don't have to spend any time creating it just enter in the copies like you would in a like a normal printer 
It's um, just one of the many workflow improvements that uh, Digital Factory offers, which is why I was so excited to use it. Time is 10.33. I've already gone live on TikTok. We had a super productive live. That was an awesome live. Um, I'll post a screenshot up here, but um, I was super happy with that. The I also got some clips, which hopefully you guys are seeing now over the, this video. Um, but at one time we were at like 260 viewers and we sustained it for like a good couple minutes. I was really um, happy with that live. It was a short one, but man, it worked out really well. Um, some good engagement, some good interaction. Everybody was asking quality questions again. Man, I'm just, I don't know, feeling like I'm on a roll here with these lives. I've had a couple good ones in a row and just trying to keep it up right now. Um, right now, I am currently finishing off the last of the full color designs that we had to do for one of our customers. Um, with, once this gets done, we have to cut it up and then heat press them onto t-shirts because we're sending the customer the finished t-shirt. Um, this design is going great. Everything is going pretty well this afternoon. I'm pretty happy with the day. Um, got everything figured out with Digital Factory. The print's running great. Everything is looking very nice with the colors, the registration. Really nothing to complain about. I'm ahead of schedule. I'm just on cloud nine. If you guys can't tell, doing really well. Um, the next update will be uh, going live printing the WW transfer orders on the WW transfers TikTok. Uh, Michaela is going to be handling that one. We're currently at 80% on this design, so once this design wraps up, we'll get started on that. All right, so the time is about 1 p.m. A lot has happened since I last uh, checked in with you guys. Um, Michaela ended up going live on the WW transfers page. Uh, had a lot of success. I think she gained like 150 followers. Uh, she was getting engagement through the roof, so an awesome stream there. Uh, through that uh, live stream, I think we ended up getting directly um, uh, 14 orders. So these live streams on WW Transfers are uh, really great for um, the business. Definitely going to keep on doing it. They seem uh, like other people enjoy them. They're, uh, they're a treasure trove, honestly. TikTok in general, just a treasure trove for uh, small businesses. But yeah, I just have a few more to wrap up for the WW Transfers designs. Uh, I'm gonna get a clip because the printer has been really working just perfectly uh, the past um, couple hours here. Knock on, knock on wood, drywall, I guess. But um, the, re the printer is in perfect registration, like absolutely perfect. You could not ask for anything better. Um, everything's been going really good with Digital Factory. Um, yeah, I think I will end up purchasing the license for it. Uh, even though it's $900, I think that the uh, payoff that I would get just by using the software in terms of the efficiency gains would be significant. Every time that uh, you have to load in an image. I used to have to go through at least a four-step process putting that into Photoshop, but now with the digital factory, you just load the image straight into the software and you're able to send it to the printer that way. They also have the continuous mode, which I was able to first get working yesterday through the help of the support agent. So I think with the continuous mode and the ability to cut down on those four-step processes that I used to have to do for images, will really pay for itself with uh, the subscription fee. I think I have, uh, this might actually be the last one for the uh, orders. No, I got one more to do. No, that's it. Cool. So that is going to be it. I'm going to uh, cut this, run the rest of the film through the machine to cure it. And uh, we have to still press the shirts for 
the customer that placed their order who wanted the completed shirts and that is somewhere in the big roll we've been printing for like four hours so the roll is really big right now uh, somewhere in there I'm going to have to uh, finish this off find that and then get rolling on uh, packaging up these orders and finishing off uh, pressing that t-shirt all right time is about 2 15 i am currently going to be working on uh, pressing these full color transfers for one of the orders that we have um, that i was printing out earlier so just have to press this on these pile of shirts here and we will be uh, good to go i think it's only 12 shirts so it should fly by not take too long i'll get a time lapse for you guys up only took me about 15 minutes so just have to peel the films for those and those will be good to go right now I'm just running a test to make sure that the uh, screen for the foil transfer design is all good once we get the thumbs up from that I will print that and get the order complete for the customer Okey doke let's give this a peel see how everything is looking it's pretty good Looks really good. Yeah, this is good to go. Time is 3.55, got that all packaged up. Also got another one of the orders that we printed off today packaged up and we are good to go to the post office now. Wednesday morning time is eight o'clock already had a breakfast got my calendar done messages answered having a good productive morning so far next up I got to reclaim a whole bunch of screens after I get done reclaiming the screens going to work on sending an email to our email list posting a trendy TikTok with uh, a trending sound and then after that I have to print Tracy's full color order um, she placed her order with us recently so we got to make sure that we get that out for her and during that period i'm also going to go live on TikTok as i always do printing the dtf transfers because it's just been such a it's been working pretty well after that i have to print some transparencies for another screen printing order that we have uh, hopefully by then the screens that i just reclaimed will be dry because we only have one screen and we need four for that order i have to post a uh, short vlog which is day three of 365 i guess of these short vlogs that I'm planning on posting to try and promote these long form uh, vlogs. So I still have to think actually what I want to send for or what I want to create for that short form vlog. I will probably use the reclaiming screens time to think of that. I also have to, no, I thought of that already, never mind. And then after I post the vlog, um, I did not have a chance to get to the meta descriptions yesterday. So today I have to do 200, 100 from yesterday, 100 for today. 
But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and get started on the screens. Wait, just a second. Before we do that, there was actually this uh, website that I came across this morning um, called uh, You Will Die in X. So you put in your birthday and it'll tell you basically when you will die in week terms. And like, I know it's, it's pretty morbid, but uh, I put mine in and apparently I will die in 3,412 weeks. I don't know uh, how that makes me feel. Nine forty-five. Got the screens all reclaimed and drying. Going to have to give those a couple of minutes, and then I will be able to go and coat them. But uh, right now, just uh, taking a little load off. Nine forty-five. Just got done reclaiming the screens. Uh, just waiting for the screens to dry, and then I will go coat those. But right now I'm going to work on sending an email to the WW Transfer newsletter subscribers as well as the AMS Transfer newsletter subscribers. For AMS transfers, I think I'm going to do our uh, product showcase on the foil screen print transfers. And then for WW Transfers, we have a whole bunch of new uh, St. Patrick's Day and other designs that we have launched. So I want to make sure that our audience is aware of that. Let's go ahead and get into that. I don't think that there's anything else. Um, I'll let you guys know. Bobo's three in the afternoon. Got the email for WW transfer sent out. Got the email for AMS transfer sent out. Got the short vlog posted to YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Um, I used the short vlog in my AMS transfers email, so I wanted to make sure that I got that done for the short vlog today. I just did a how to press our foil screen print transfers. I think it's going to be a, a well-performing YouTube short. I, it's just a good quality video. I, it's something that I would watch. And I also am hoping that the emails both perform well. I sent the WW transfers email at 11 and I sent the AMS transfers one at 12. So we will uh, report back on how those each did. Right now I'm going to transition and start working on the DTF orders that we have to print today. Uh, as you guys know, I want to use this as an opportunity to go live on TikTok, but my phone is only at 28%. So I got to wait a little bit, get that charged up. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at the files that I need to get all set up, get those set up in Digital Factory, get everything all set up for the TikTok Live, and then by then, hopefully, I should have enough battery to end up going live. But um, the schedule kind of got a little mixed up there uh, just because I worked on the short vlog first. I'm currently an hour behind schedule, but I switched out the short vlog, so I think everything will even out in the end and we'll be all right to go forward with that. Once I get done with uh, printing the full colors, we're gonna cut those, pack them up, and then I also have to get started on the meta descriptions today. So I have a co quite a bit of stuff left to do today. Hi friends. It's been some time since I last checked in with you. I think my last check-in, I said that I was going to get ready to print the orders and go live on TikTok, and that was at noon. The time is now 4 p.m and we have uh, printed the order that we had to print and did go live on TikTok. That was our best live we've ever done. We got um, 6.8K likes on the live stream. I think we gained 55 followers. I'll put something up here and uh, show you guys the exact stats, which TikTok said was 99% more than people with a similar follower count as me get. So, hey, look at me. I was uh, spending uh, some extra time getting the artwork for the customer ready this afternoon, so I didn't actually get started printing until about 1.15 p.m. Um, and then I was just uh, messing with the printer, getting all of the settings perfectly dialed in again. I was kind of having some trouble with the white, but it just took a couple of uh, head cleanings and that was all sorted out. <clears throat> so yeah, just uh, Michaela just packaged up the order that I printed out. So. Next up, we are going to head to UPS. She also already went to the post office while I was live because I just got off of the live at like 3.40. And uh, she went to the post office for us, so that's great. And nothing left to uh, 
go to UPS and then call it a day. I think tonight I'm going to work on getting some meta descriptions added because I didn't have the chance to work on those today. Good morning guys, 7.15, just got to work a couple minutes ago. Uh, Michaela is currently making breakfast. I have to uh, coat these screens over here, which you guys can't see. Maybe you guys can see them now. If I come down here, uh, gotta coat these screens, get them uh, all drying so that we can uh, burn the screens so later. I have to take, I think, six of the screens already, so we'll be left with eight. Uh, after that, um, eat breakfast, go to working on the meta descriptions for the SEO. I unfortunately did not do that last night, so I have, uh, if I do 100 more today, I have 300 in total to do. After the meta, I accounted for like four hours today for that, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully that'll all get done, and then after that I have to print uh, like four or five different orders on the full color DTF printer, uh, which of course I'm going to go live on TikTok again. Last night we had a TikTok pop off. Uh, as I speak, it's at like 4,500 views, uh, 300 likes. I don't know how many shares, but at least over 10 and uh, I think over 10 saves as well. So that's been really fun to watch. It was the foil one. Uh, that I talked about yesterday, so that's good to see. I'm glad that it performed. I thought it was a good video, so I'm really happy that people are seeing it. happened once again since the last time that I checked in unfortunately uh, time is 12.05 p.m. Uh, as I was able to get some meta descriptions done I got 42 different pages done and I also spent some time optimizing the home page with some more keywords that I feel like we should be targeting and also went ahead and made uh, why you should choose AMS transfers page uh, I think it'll all be uh, very valuable to because with the why you should choose AMS transfers page I basically um, tried to do my best to load in as many keywords while not overdoing it to uh, get penalized. So that page is basically existing for SEO purposes only and it also is a good page. I mean uh, to potential customers looking at it I think it does provide valuable information. Uh, we also had to uh, go to Home Depot to run to get a ladder because um, one of the lights that we have from the ceiling fell down when we were opening up our bay door um, so we just had to get that fixed and uh, we didn't have a ladder or a means to reach it so we had to go grab one of those from Home Depot real quick and got that all situated. So my afternoon looked a little different than I was expecting but uh, still able to get uh, some meta descriptions done. We're making good progress. I actually don't even have 300 pages to do so um, I'm pretty close to finishing up all of the pre-made editable templates. And once we get done with that, it'll be gravy um, because those are the bulk of our pages, like I said last week. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out the video here um, for uh, week two in, uh, in we week two in my life as a screen print business owner. So right now I am going to work on um, recording a short vlog. I think what I'm going to do is ask Shopify store owners what they recommend for like um, picking all of the different products in their order history because for WW transfers we have a large inventory of orders and we also have a large inventory of products so it takes some time to go through each of those packing slips find all of the different orders or find all of the different items run back and forth it's just a lot and I think what would be a lot better is if we could have some sort of pick list system where we could select all of the different orders that we have to do for the day and then it will give us uh, the number of different transfers for all of those orders. So uh, if we have 15 different orders, it'll say you need 70 
um, of one design, 50 of a different design, and so on and so on. We won't have to be like, okay, we need three of this design for this order, but then we need three of this design for another order. I hope that makes sense. Um, I already, spoiler, spoiler alert, I already have uh, an app that I plan to use. So I'm just going to load in a Shopify app that generates a pick list. But I feel like it's a great thing to make content out of. So everything is content. And I think it's uh, going along with um, the first like three to five seconds, basically pointing out a target people, a target group of people, and then like asking them or telling them something super valuable to them. So in this case, I'm going to do Shopify owners. Um, people who use Shopify for their business and uh, we'll see what happens with it. Four o five in the afternoon. It's uh, sorry for the uh, footage gaps here. I know that the past two days it's been like this, but uh, we have been slammed. So I uh, had another TikTok live after that. And if you guys can't tell by my voice, <clears throat> it was a crazy one. Um, it was literally my best live stream that we've ever done on Choose AMS, period. Uh, I'll put something up right here with the whole statistics, but we got like almost 13,000 likes, uh, gained like 180 followers. I couldn't even keep up with the followers. Like I try and uh, shout out my voice, man, it's going. <clears throat> I try and shout out everybody who follows because I think it like, thank you for following. That's pretty cool. And I, there were some times when I literally couldn't keep up with it because people were going nuts. Um, so many people sharing the lives. It was an incredible live stream to say the least. I was having a hard time keeping up with doing my job, uh, m managing the uh, prints itself, but I couldn't ask for uh, anything more. To, if you guys were in the live stream, thank you so much for all of the support, all of the engagement. Um, I did uh, shout out the, this uh, vlog on the live stream. So if you are here, thank you so much. Drop a comment down below in this uh, video saying you guys were in the live. I would love to see that. That's super cool. Um, 405, going to pack everything up. We got uh, the orders that we printed during the live packaged up. Just got to package up my computer and then we'll be on the road. Good morning, guys. 8 a.m. Friday morning. Had to go to HEB this morning to get some bread for avocado toast. Today is going to be pretty low key. We have to, or at least I'm going to start uh, getting the DTF printer ready for the orders today, making sure that all the nozzles are printing properly. After that, I'm going to record another one of my short vlogs. So if you guys aren't uh, watching those, make sure you check out the shorts tab on YouTube. I also post them to TikTok too. So if you're not following me on TikTok, please give me a follow at choose AMS and after uh, the short vlog, I'm going to work on getting the sample box orders that we have yesterday. Uh, yesterday during the live, I mentioned the sample box once and uh, we ended up getting 15 uh, requests for it. So got to get that out, uh, make sure that we can get those to the customers so they can give them a try and hopefully order soon. But after that, going to, I think, end the day out with another live stream. It seems to be the going live at the end of the day. Um, just attracts more people. I guess they're off of work, which makes sense. And uh, print some more of the WW transfer orders that came in. <sighs> Welcome to hell, guys. Population one. Uh, time is 12.54. I have spent the last um, five hours uh, working on getting these nozzles unclogged. Uh, right now, uh, yesterday, after we um, wrapped up the live stream. I was looking over the prints doing our quality control and I noticed that there was some banding going on with our um, designs that had magenta and cyan included. So today I wanted to uh, get that all sorted out before we started production and while I was trying to figure that out I noticed that things were just not getting better. I probably ended up running like 10 uh, strong head cleanings I have the um, print head 
in a solution of isopropyl alcohol right now um, in the wet capping station trying to see if that will unclog it I also am uh, going to order some unclogging solution from uh, this website and they also have a like what they call last resort unclogging solution which apparently is what you use as like a last resort as the name implies for if your print head is um, on the verge of being thrown out. So when these nozzles do get clogged, the print heads become uh, almost worthless if they don't become unclogged because you'll have like some serious banding going on with the designs. Uh, I can show you some of them. I'm not sure which one this was, but basically there, if you can see those lines running vertical on the design, that is definitely an undesired aspect and something that doesn't meet our quality standards. Um, we are uh, kind of at a standstill here. There is a workaround by increasing the resolution of the print, but that ends up using more ink. But I think that's just what we're going to have to do to uh, get around this problem for, the mo for right now until we can get the cleaning solution in and give that a try um, just so that we're not uh, down on production and we could still get some orders out. But geez, guys, um, I did use this opportunity to post a uh, vlog, a short vlog, about why you should wait to uh, buy a printer like this until you have sufficient volume where you can run it every day. And that way, uh, ideally, you wouldn't have to deal with clogs. But here I am, and uh, I run it every day, Monday through Friday, just not Saturday and Sunday. It, it, it's the magenta and the cyan. Um, the yellow and black are fine and the white, the white surprisingly is fine. And like everybody says, it's the white that causes the problems. Um, yeah, all of those head cleanings really ran me dry on ink. I'm out of white ink right now. So, uh, we're kind of at a standstill for today. Can't do much and just need to, um, there is like a few more things that I can try. Uh, but it uses a ton of ink and we were low on white so I didn't want to use that unless I felt it was absolutely necessary and it is necessary now but I don't have the white to spare um, to actually like load all of the ink through it. Man guys I have been struggling with this printer the past like two weeks uh, switching to digital factory that was a nightmare but we finally got that figured out and now we're on to this problem. I don't doubt that we'll get through it. It's just uh, a headache to say the least. All right, time is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I spent some more time just doing some research on what to actually do uh, when you have this problem. So I ordered some cleaning solution from a local guy in Houston. And after we finish packing this order up, we're going to head on over to his uh, place and pick up that cleaning solution. I gave him a call and he said that he had it in stock. So that's great. Can I get that uh, picked up and then come back in either tomorrow or Sunday and give it a try. See if the cleaning solution actually does fix the clogged nozzles. Everybody on the forums, uh, while they were not trying, I don't think the exact same one, they might've been trying uh, variations, maybe some stronger ones said that this does work. And my clog is not significant. It's only a few bars on the nozzle check. So I think I'm really hoping at least fingers crossed that this is going to work. But that is, uh, I think that is going to be where I leave off for this week. Uh, week three in my life, we made it to week three guys. Those of you who didn't think we would make it this far, myself included, here we are. I'm not entirely sure how this vlog this week is going to turn out. I know that um, the footage is lacking for Wednesday, Thursday, and probably even today. So we will see how the video turns out in the edit, I guess. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video, what you guys think I should do differently, what you guys would like to see. Do you guys want to see more of the printing? Do you want to see more of the day to day? Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see from these videos. And I will do my best to give you guys what you want. 
But uh, in the meantime, guys, thanks again so much for watching. If you made it this far, please don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to the channel. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and give it a like or a dislike if you did not like it. If you are looking for custom screen print or custom DTF transfers, please feel free to check out our website, amstransfers.com. I should have it linked here or somewhere on the screen. And with that, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you guys next week.